Jay, Mike, let's go. Time for the face off. Do not miss this momentous mega event, November 15th. Yeah. The baddest man on the planet. One of the most devastating. I have not been this invested in a fight in a very, very long time. I am so, and I don't, it's not just me. I really want you to beat this guy. What are you ready? And we've had an accidental no headbutt. I heard Jake Paul seems pretty relaxed. Okay, because yeah. I'm like, well, you can't run in this. I don't want any more of this. My brother is out there fighting right now. Yeah. Just you couldn't stop him. Oh. It's orgasmic sometimes. Mm. Yeah. You can hit hard like that, but I can hit him. Pretty hard to like that bucket. Boom! You still got it? Well, there's a double, triple jab with Mike Tyson. He does. Referee encouraging them. Two legends left. There must be a, a round hostile task. The referee will have to really be on the referee. Tyson in his prime, where he was just storming the gates, he just stalked people down and smashed them. That left hook kind of landed. That was a shot. That was a shot. Right hand, maybe the same. He can't let Mike get up. Do yourself, New York. As soon as I catch this guy, it's going to be totally the old. Skill. Never including it better than some of them. There's a double left hook by Tyson. He can't let Mike get settled with the right hand. That was a move in the head. He went real low. That was a low rider move right there. <laughs> now, a very good uppercut in the trying to utilize the footwork, the speed up. Today we're diving deep into one of the most anticipated boxing matches in recent history. Man is a beast, but I'm not taking him lightly. It's July 20th. I hope to become the victor and to create history and knock out the legendary Iron Mike Tyson. You heard it right, motherfucker. I'm fighting Mike Tyson. On November 15th, the ring will bear witness to a clash of titans as Jake Paul faces off against the legendary Mike Tyson. Mike, how do you see this fight playing out? Very painfully. Yeah, we got a YouTuber fighting the greatest fighter that ever lived. This isn't just a fight, it's a monumental event that could redefine both fighters' careers. Be in shape, be in good shape, because your health depends on it. Is there any level of fear stepping into the ring with an icon like Mike Tyson? Are you Team Mike, ready to see the Iron Mike return to glory? Or Team Paul, banking on the new generation to make history? I'm not scared of shit, no. Not at all. Smash that like button and drop your team in the comments Team Mike or Team Paul. Let's get into it. Fuck Jake Paul. Fuck Jake Paul. Shut the fuck up, New York. And boo yourself. <laughs> boo yourself, New York. Jake Paul has been a polarizing figure in the world of sports, often criticized yet undeniably successful. For me, he don't got a lot other than money, and he's made plenty of money. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. From his beginnings as a YouTube star, Paul has seamlessly transitioned into boxing, turning heads and raising eyebrows along the way. His journey started with a series of controversial yet lucrative matches, leading to a notable fight against former MMA champion Ben Askren and a dramatic encounter with Tyron Woodley. Paul's rise to fame was swift, fueled by his YouTube following and social media prowess. But behind the flashy persona lies a fighter who has trained hard to prove he belongs in the boxing ring. This is already anticipated to be one of the biggest boxing events in all of modern boxing history. Each victory has added to his confidence, and now he stands on the precipice of a fight that could solidify his status as a legitimate boxer or expose him as a mere pretender. As soon as I catch this guy, it's going to be running around, but as soon as I catch this guy, it's going to be totally the over. Jay, is your plan to run? Oh, he's going to run like a thief. He's going to run. 
While Paul has garnered attention for his boxing, he's also attracted criticism. Some see him as a mere novelty act, a YouTuber playing at boxing. But others acknowledge his determination and skill as he's consistently stepped up to face tougher opponents. As the fight with Tyson approaches, public opinion is sharply divided. Will he emerge as a true contender, or will he be seen as a brash upstart taking on an icon far beyond his capabilities? Now let's shift our focus to Mike Tyson. At 58 years old, Tyson remains a figure of fascination in the boxing world. His legacy as the youngest heavyweight champion and a fearsome knockout artist is well established, but what does the future hold for the former champ? Tyson's journey in boxing is the stuff of legend. From his early days with Q's D'Amato to his reign as the undisputed heavyweight champion, he captured the imagination of fans worldwide. His fighting style explosive, aggressive, and relentless set a new standard for what it meant to be a champion. Despite his age, Tyson has shown he's not just in the game for nostalgia. He's been training hard, utilizing cutting-edge technology and techniques to prepare for this fight. Fans have been treated to glimpses of his intense training sessions, sparking excitement and speculation about whether he still has the knockout power that once made him a legend. Age may be a factor, but Tyson's experience is invaluable. While he may not have the same speed as in his prime, he possesses a wealth of knowledge and strategy that younger fighters like Paul may underestimate. Can he channel his inner beast and unleash a performance that echoes his glory days? As we draw closer to fight night, the hype surrounding this event has reached a fever pitch. Press conferences, social media exchanges, and fan reactions have all played a crucial role in building anticipation. The press conferences have been nothing short of theatrical. Paul, known for his trash talk, has been vocal about his intentions to knock Tyson out. Tyson, with his calm demeanor, responds with a steely gaze that speaks volumes. The contrast between them Paul's brash confidence versus Tyson's quiet intensity adds layers to this narrative. Analysts and boxing experts have weighed in, with opinions ranging from support for the new generation to nostalgia for the old guard. Many believe this fight could either be a wake-up call for Paul or a triumphant return for Tyson, depending on how it unfolds. To truly understand the stakes of this fight, we need to delve into each fighter's training regimen. Tyson has been employing high-tech training methods including resistance bands, VR simulations, and motion capture technology. This isn't just traditional training, it's a modern approach that could give him an edge. His dedication has impressed both fans and critics alike, leading many to believe he could surprise the world on fight night. On the other side, Jake Paul has also been ramping up his training. He's been focusing on speed, agility, and power. His camp emphasizes a mix of traditional boxing techniques and innovative workouts that have helped him improve his performance over recent fights. As fight night approaches, the contrast in styles becomes increasingly apparent. Tyson's raw power and experience pitted against Paul's youthful speed and determination creates a fascinating dynamic. Will Paul's speed allow him to evade Tyson's attacks, or will Tyson's power prove too overwhelming? As we look ahead to November 15th, the stakes couldn't be higher. This fight is about more than just a victory, it's about legacy. In the grand history of boxing, this match stands out for its unique clash of eras. Tyson, representing the golden age of heavyweight boxing, faces Paul, the embodiment of modern sports entertainment. The narrative surrounding this fight raises questions about the evolution of boxing and what it means to be a fighter in today's world. For Jake Paul, a win could solidify his status as a serious boxer and open doors to further opportunities in the sport. For Tyson, a victory could reignite his legacy, proving that he still has what it takes to compete at the highest level even at 58. Fans and analysts are buzzing with predictions, each offering their insights. Some see Tyson as the favorite, citing his experience and power. Others believe Paul's agility and youth could be the deciding factor. As we draw closer to fight night, the tension and excitement continue to build. So let's start with the latest news. Mike Tyson has just leaked some absolutely terrifying training footage that's taken the boxing world by storm. And let me tell you folks, he's gearing up like an absolute beast. I mean, we're talking next level intensity here. This isn't just a casual jog around the block. This is Iron Mike training like a man possessed. In the footage, Tyson looks like he's on some serious next-gen technology. We're talking about a 58-year-old who already scares the pants off most people, now using cutting-edge gear to train. I mean, if I were Jake Paul, I'd be sweating bullets right now. Tyson's been flexing his power, speed, and that iconic intensity, and it's clear he's not just coming to fight, he's coming to destroy. Yeah. Before he was born, how did we know how old we were? Right, but he's been dead for a long time. I know, so <laughs> I know, so, he, yeah, he didn't live too long. Either. I mean, he's still got a palace, but he's dead. I mean, that's yeah, the fact. That, well, what I'm saying is that um, I feel really good. Boxing pros and pundits are flooding social media with their reactions. 
You've got Joe Rogan, Teddy Atlas, Oscar De La Hoya, basically the entire boxing universe saying, yo, Jake, you better be ready because Tyson is coming for your soul. And let's be real here. This isn't just casual banter. They're straight up warning Jake that he might not know what he signed up for. Now, let's break down this insane training regimen. Tyson is treating this fight like it's the heavyweight championship of the world, leaving no stone unturned. This isn't an accident. This is psychological warfare. He's leaking this footage right before the fight to make Jake tremble in his boots. Imagine the fear, uh, oh, did I really sign up for this? In the video, you can see Tyson moving like he's 20 years younger, throwing punches with such force that even the heavy bags look like they're about to take flight. It's like he's sending a direct message to Jake, you sure you're ready for this? If Jake wasn't second-guessing himself before, you can bet he is now. And Tyson's training isn't just your typical bag work. No, no, he's got a whole technological arsenal at his disposal. We're talking high-tech resistance bands, virtual reality training, motion capture sensors. This is some serious Matrix-level stuff. Tyson's working on his reflexes and reaction time while wearing a VR headset. It's like he's training for the next sci-fi blockbuster instead of a boxing match. But wait, there's more. Tyson's using isokinetic resistance machines that keep his muscles working at a constant rate. It's like pushing against a wall that gets stronger as he does. The result? Explosive strength and stamina like we've never seen before. And his trainers are using neuromuscular electrical stimulation to keep his muscles contracting even when he's resting. That's right, folks. He's training while he's chilling. Tyson is literally training like a machine, and the boxing world is losing its mind over it. This isn't just the Iron Mike we remember, this is a supercharged version, ready to remind everyone why he's still one of the scariest forces in the sport. Now, Joe Rogan is absolutely blown away by Tyson's insane physique and the skills he's showcasing in training. I mean, we all know Tyson is a freak of nature, but what we're seeing right now is on another level. Rogan can't stop raving about how Tyson is defying age. He's looking stronger than ever, and that's saying something coming from someone who's seen it all in combat sports. And let's not forget, just a few months ago, Tyson had a medical scare with ulcers that had everyone worried. The fight had to be postponed, and people started wondering if he'd ever step back in the ring. But this is Iron Mike we're talking about. Instead of slowing down, he bounced back stronger than ever. And now he's back Tyson in the gym, training like an absolute like beast. I started Jake Paul off. Can I ask you, how did you start him off? Um, on my fight with Roy Jones, I allowed him to fight on the card, and I decided I started them, and I'm, and I'm going to finish him. <laughs> Jake Paul. Listen up. If you thought you were walking into an easy fight, think again. Tyson's not just showing up, he's preparing to dominate. He believes every opponent deserves the same level of respect, whether they're a seasoned boxer or a newbie YouTuber turned fighter. Who else can do it but me? Who else is he gonna fight? We got a YouTuber fighting the greatest fighter that ever lived. Should he be scared? He should be very scareful, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, be careful. I, I think he's a mitt warrior. The Instagram videos are cute, but we'll see what happens in the ring on November 15th at the end of the day. We'll see if he still got it. The first time you came on and you said, I can't even work out. Yes, Because yes. if I work out, my ego will get excited. 